All right, I'm gonna do an update. It's been a while, a long while, since the last time I posted. I didn't do progress report or anything. So now I'm going to show you what I've done so far with my garden. So here we go. There it is. The PVC pipes there are just right now temporary supports before I put some real ones in. I just needed to get the tomato plants up. Uh, there's some basil. Uh, these are some suckers off the tomatoes that I over here. These tomatoes here I took suckers off of those. Put those there. I don't know what this thing is. Some plant from school. Who cares? Uh, threw some seeds in, scattered around. I didn't mark them, so that was a mistake. But anyway, we'll figure it out. It's either radish kohlrabi or uh, lettuce. So we'll see. I'm spacing them out slowly. I'm moving them, as you can tell. These are cute. I mean, uh, squash. These are cucumbers. They're taking off like crazy. It's a big boy tomato, and I don't know what tomato that is. Don't really care. I'm not a tomato fan. Oh, there it is. I guess it is a sweet 100 or whatever. Okay. Pineapples I just threw in for fun. See if anything happens. I was just lazy with them. Uh, and then wanted to see how the strawberries are doing this. And they're not doing real hot, so I'm not probably going to keep them going. You can see the algae and dirt and stuff in this. I haven't set it up. Got growth on here but then it's the way it is I didn't couldn't find anything thick so I used this cheap stuff and then I cut up a bunch of uh, I had some spare four or three inch PVC I just cut it up and put those in so part of it's in water part of it isn't don't know if that's a good thing or not if anybody wants to comment you sure can I appreciate it because I'm new to this this is a new thing for me. I'm just trying to figure out. There's my filter there. Got, uh, what do you call it? Two buckets put together. Don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But I got a second bucket that that fit in and went down. And then I put a tie, the black, black thing right there is a tie down into water. And it just filters up and then I'm able to take it down at the bottom and drain it when I need to so pretty simple these are those twist ties they are twist lids they got at Home Depot they're actually pretty good I keep my flour and sugar in five gallon buckets with those twist lids on them so they're always sealed keeps them fresh here's my uh, under underneath the uh, my place here I haven't, I've ordered some tilapia, I'm not sure when they're coming. My pH and, uh, uh, is staying right at about 6.8, so I'm hoping that the, I'm getting the mosaic tilapia, so hoping the, the tilapia will be able to uh, survive in there. I'm giving it a shot, we'll give it, see what happens. I honestly don't really care on this first try, it's to test, to see what we got going threw this over because I was having a hard time keeping the sun was just devastating everything and when I put that over you know my tomato plants and everything just took off so I gave it some shade uh, because in the daytime my son or the son sorry my son these are my sons but this son comes up over the top over here uh, our playhouse blocks it but so quite a bit of that's blocked by it but uh, still the Sun comes over and uh, hits uh, the, it was hitting the plants and then it was going up over the top you know all the way up over the top and right up until it hit the shed so I was getting way too much Sun these are going to be my uh, uh, Dutch bucket ish things as you can see, I shouldn't be using these because they are contract blocks. But we're going to give it a shot anyway because I've cleaned them out. Uh, and I need to go clean them out again. I haven't set it up. I'm about to try to get it going, but I'm not in any rush. I'm just doing things slowly as we're going. 
This is here because I haven't put a protection to keep any kids from falling in down there. I need to get that done because that little guy right there, he likes to get into stuff. So, and this guy is trying to catch butterflies. Good luck with that because I'm going to go ahead and fog my yard with pesticide here so I can kill all the mosquitoes back here and uh, any other insects try to not hit the plants or anything or get into the water because they do have the fish coming and that is a pyrethroid or an anpyrethrin so basically it's not going to do good if you get them around fish so i got to make sure so there was no wind today it's pretty much still so i can uh try fogging that needs to go to the dump that's the leftover that i had there's my bins of all the growth, everything happened. I mean, my beds with all the growth and everything. Look at my stupid uh, cut way back uh, grapes this year. And look, they're already going like crazy. And then the blackberries, the birds have already eaten them all. I don't get them. That's what I'm afraid is going to happen over here with my garden. So what I'm going to do is buy another one of those, bring it down, and I'm going to seal it up top and drop the side down here and put one over the side over here so the birds can't get in and won't be able to because we have a mockingbird here that needs to come in and it's illegal to shoot one it's a five hundred dollar fine for every one you shoot so we have to let those stupid birds live uh, another grapevine that one there is a uh, concord grape We'll never see grapes from it. The birds eat them before we get a chance. And then here's the dumb trampoline that I wish we could get rid of, but kids still use it and have fun on it. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it. That's a tour of my garden area. And oh, uh, I'll show you what I did. And you know, I'm not a guy that's real detailed. I don't care about detail. I don't care about getting everything exact. I just like to have fun and do it. So. As you can see, everything's crazy down there. Because <laughs> I honestly don't care. Got some stuff floating in there I'll take out. But anyway, see, everything just leads in haphazardly. But it works. Everything's fine. Uh, and then underneath, you can't see everything, but. That's it. This is my feed lines right here that I just have running across. Didn't know what else to do with them, so I ran them like this, and they seem to work fine. Before, I was going to try to take them up over the top and go down, see if I have one there. And if we come up underneath, you can see where it was. I was bringing that from here up all the way to there, and I had no pressure whatsoever. So, I was like, oh, that's not going to work. So, what I did is now I've got pressure is I took it just in a small distance right there and then brought it down. You can see we're coming down here and goes in down over here. So that worked out a lot better. And this is just an overflow just in case I have a problem. I'm coming down from the bottom and coming up. Uh, but uh, works pretty good. That's it. And uh, there's the cutout of it. There we go. There's all the dirt from digging that big hole. And uh, we're, we're good. So anyway, this is kind of a rough video, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this on, but that should do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to keep you updated a little bit more, keep you posted on everything, what I'm doing. Uh, see how our, our stuff grows and everything but I'll tell you what this stuff it works I mean I am I'm, I'm what you call probably a black thumb I'm not even a brown thumb uh, everything I touch dies so but when I come when it comes to gardening but this garden works I mean as you could tell everything was growing uh, do a quick view Everything uh, 
basically just took off. Uh, I had, you can see I temporarily threw this up because I wasn't ready. I don't even have, I ordered some clips, but it's taking too long for them to come in. And tomato clips, to, you know, vine, for the vines to hold them up and all the, the, the stuff, but it's just going fast. Everything's growing super fast. These guys were half this size just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, literally, it just explodes. Uh, the, or is that oregano or rosemary? I think it's oregano. Anyway, yeah, oregano. That stuff isn't doing very good. It's having a hard time in here. But, and neither are these squash for some reason. They're having a little bit of a hard time. But these guys were planted about four days ago. And holy cow, look what they're doing. And the pineapples, who knows what's going to happen. The strawberries, I noticed, aren't doing too hot. But the lettuce here and the radishes are coming up like crazy. So certain things just literally take off. And now, oh, this is planted with, um, this is hydroponics right now. It's not aquaponics because I don't have the fish yet. So what I've been doing is I've been using, uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember the guy's name. I, he's the tomato guy, the guy that has those great tomatoes on uh uh, YouTube, uh, Southern accent. You know who I'm talking about if you go search. But anyway, I, uh, I'm using his fertilizer technique, the one that's got the, uh, for his tomato blend or whatever it is. I used his blend. Man, I'll tell you what, it works for everything and it worked in here. It got my pH adjusted to the correct uh, amount. It basically, uh, my nitrates are right where they need to be. Uh, without fish or anything so everything is going good uh, I did throw my air pump which I'll show you you're gonna have to bear with me on this because like this room here is a storage room it's all it's used for nothing else but there's my pump that I had I used to, to do bed as I haven't done it up correctly yet. I'm gonna as you can see it's a disaster in here because uh, I had to take everything out of the garage real quick and was just trying to empty it out. So I'm going to move it over in the corner over here and hang it from the up top and hang it down and keep it in the air because my wife, our bedroom window is right there and my wife can actually hear that pump when it's going. I don't know how, but she can because uh, it's real quiet. You know, considering how, you know, how much uh, air is putting out and the hose is just temporarily run right now. It's gonna like I said I'm gonna bring it over here Pop it out of the edge here, and then just bring it up put it in this is just temporary But it does put out a pretty good amount of air and I have most of the valve shut off I've got two running in this one over here. So there is a lot of air getting pumped in you can see it over there in the uh, The bubbles right there are coming up on that side and then uh, right here. They're coming up like crazy, too and then uh, just one stone. These are uh, four inch stones, I think. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, there's my uh, rat box to kill all the rats that are around here. Because the rats were coming up. They're all dead now, I believe. The rats were going across the railing right across here. My kids were seeing them run the yard. So since I own a pest control company, uh, I went ahead and uh, threw some of those down. So, well, that's it. There's the boys trying to catch butterflies in a yard that's pesticide full, not pesticide free. So, no, I am not an organic gardener. Uh, I don't really care about organics. I know that's shit, but I don't uh, because my business is pesticide. That's where I make my money. I kill bugs. Anyway, there you go. Have fun. We're going inside.